You just had to do it, didn't you? You just had. You just had to point out that the mega belt of doom that I'm wearing over my eye <laughs> looks totally like an olive. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. I, I, I swear I didn't see it in the last episode. I saw all sorts of cool things. Terminator Eye and the Scallium Laser Eye of Doom. I didn't see Olive. Unfortunately now, all I can see is an Olive. You guys are right. That being said though, I'm not gonna change it. We're gonna own it, okay? We're gonna own it. We are now Team Olive. Now the plan for today's episode is going to be to start our third Mega Branch. I do have quite a bit of wood left, although that's not that's not actually that much. I mean, it looks it looks a lot, but, but once I start building, these branches take a lot of wood. But hopefully, we can get quite a bit of it done. And I'm considering whether or not I'm gonna go this way first and do this nook here, or if I should do the one on the other side, that one over there. I think. I think I want to go this way and then kind of go all the way around. But before we get to that, we have some creepers to deal with. So in the last episode, we built our mega creeper farm. Well, to be honest, we built the mega creeper farm structure. <laughs> we didn't actually get to build the farm, but we built the mega creeper farm structure. And today I'd really like to start off with getting it to work. So first things first, we're going to head over to the shopping district because I need wither roses and to be honest I'm not even sure if they are being sold. This has changed right? This green team waiting room for orange bottom pressers. <laughs> I guess the person who built this upgraded to orange and still they, that's funny green team waiting room still. So I heard a rumor that wither roses were being sold in Tango's concrete shop. I wonder if if it's this thing over here with the roses with the roses with, why would there be with the roses in oh i guess for black dye yep with the roses goodbye diamonds it was nice knowing you i've said it before but i gotta say it again because i haven't seen this in a few days i absolutely love how this turned out i think i think this is probably the coolest creeper farm look wise <laughs> that i've ever done now before i construct the actual platforms there is one thing we need to consider. In Minecraft 1.16, the spawning rules for Wither Roses changes. So, at the moment, the absolute best way to make a creeper farm is to just have platforms out of dirt, plant a bunch of Wither Roses on top of them, and then have rails traveling underneath, picking up all of the loot. But in Minecraft 1.16, mobs will no longer be able to spawn on the Wither Rose. So, the question is... Do I do the old design, which is going to be the better one at the moment, or do I future proof immediately? Hello! <laughs> this freaked me out! I thought that the stone was moving. Look at how well he blends in! You are not a creeper. Get out of the building. I think the wisest thing to do is probably future proof it. It's probably make a creeper farm that's a little bit worse than the standard creeper farm at the moment, but that will work in 116. So, with that said, I think it's time I head into my creative test world and figure out a way to do it. In my creative test world, here is a little bit of a concept. Cats scares creepers, hopefully. And the idea, hello? Are you, why are you not scary? Are you not afraid? Why are you not, come on. Do your job. Well, this is awkward. In theory, the cats should scare the creepers into walking into these wither roses. And then using tilled dirt, we could use hoppers right underneath to pick up their drops. Because the farmland is not a full block, anything dropped on top here is actually able to be picked up by the hoppers right there. And then it goes all the way over there. But why are you not, why are you not, why are you not scared, bro? <laughs> Did he just drop string? Tiger cat, are you more scary? This is cursed. I think I've done it. I think I've broken the curse. It turns out that my creative test world, for some reason, <laughs> for some reason the cats on my creative test world are not scary, but here, here they are. Now one more thing that I wasn't originally thinking of is spiders. Spiders is going to fill this farm up in 116 unless we do these carpets. So that's why that's why I have the carpets. The creepers can walk over them. But that also means a lot less spawning spaces. So you basically have to go big or not do it at all. 
<laughs> I can't get over the fact that that looks so much like an olive. <laughs> Team Olive. Anyway, I'm back on the Hermitcraft server and I've just realized this is gonna be... This is gonna be tricky to build and I'm gonna have to use as much space as I possibly can in order for this to be efficient in one second. This is why we test things, okay? This is why we test things in creative. I would have completely forgotten about the spider thing if I didn't, so I'm glad I did, but yeah, I'm gonna need to use the entire space and several layers in order to make this efficient. This is quite a big undertaking, but considering only between this episode and the last, I have spent 18 diamonds on rockets. 18. 18 diamonds on rockets. I use so many rockets. I definitely want my own income. And with that said, it was time to get going. So, I played around with a few different designs for a while. Uh, no. Excuse me? Bat farm. I'm an idiot. How are they gonna get... <sighs> until finally deciding on one. This should absolutely work. No spiders, cat in the middle, trap doors, magma. Magma hurts. I then went speed mining for resources. Satisfaction. Ooh, diamonds for five. Nice. Bought lots of wood. I'm getting so mega poor. And finally constructed all the layers. Hello? Oh yeah, I, I did that in a live stream, so I don't have I don't have any footage. Even though I don't have the footage of actually constructing these platforms, this thing is pretty much done. Pretty much done, and I gotta say, it's looking really, really cool. The only problem is I need cats. Lots and lots of cats. In fact, I need one cat, two cats per layer, and I got six layers. I need 12 cats. 12 cats, and I need to fit them perfectly inside on this carpet here and i think unfortunately that's probably gonna be a little bit of a pain but apart from that i have done the collection area now so if i drop anything down here it should eventually be picked up and delivered to here let's see yes there it is nice I've just realized it's not just the cats remaining though, there's still a little bit of work to be done for this to actually be functioning because obviously, obviously I need to, I need to darken this out even during daytime, so I need to add a ceiling inside the building and I need to black out all the windows. Done, I've now blacked out every single window and I gotta say, again, I think this adds to the build. I think this really adds to the build and imagine having, oh, I missed, I missed a space there. How have I managed to miss this? There we go. As I was saying, imagine having the creepers standing in here named so that they don't affect the mob spawns at all and just looking out. That is going to look absolutely amazing. But with that being said, I still need to fit the cats and I still need to build a roof on this, but I'm going to leave this project for today. I am really, really eager to get started or to continue working on the Omega tree. Bob's keeping a close eye on the button. So close to orange. It feels really good to be here. E. Now even though it does feel good to be here, I did notice something very disgusting. Alan has had a little bit of an accident. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> oh no. There is diorite all over my tree. This has ruined my tree. Oh, I don't really know what to do with this, to be honest. Alan, that's... That's not okay. It's not... Oh, that's naughty, okay? That's not... That's not okay. Looks absolutely horrendous. I may have to call the boomers on that issue. I wonder if they do toxic waste management as, as well. Anyway, I am ready to get started with our third branch. Actually, it's quite ridiculous. I look at this thinking, this is only two branches. <laughs> this is only two branches. We're gonna fit, we're gonna fit, what was it, eight in total per layer, and we're gonna have three layers of branches. Yeah, I, I really need to get going on this on this project. I am going to spend all of this wood and we're gonna place, we're gonna try and place the branch right over on this nook here, I think. And again, one thing that makes this extremely expensive is the use of the bark blocks. And I do wanna use 
quite a bit of them. Starting the branch is always the trickiest because you got to get that shape right. And this is a little bit of a diagonal one as well. So I think something like this is what I'm going to have to do and then go up and out. Yes, that feels that feels pretty good. It amazes me just how long it takes to get these branches right. I've spent the better of the past four hours or so on this here and it doesn't it doesn't actually look that much but I think I think this is a very very tricky one. Maybe I should have done another one first because I didn't realize just how much I had pulled this branch to the left and so I really struggled to make sure that they don't stick together and that includes some very interesting diagonal diagonal shaping. With that said though I think I got a pretty good start. I got a few branches sticking off and I'm doing what I did with the last branch because I was very happy with how that turned out. So I'm doing all of the sub branches as I go along and we got one split here, one split there and then now I'm thinking of doing another split here so I get a little bit more here because essentially what I'm trying to do is make sure that there aren't any mega gaps because I mean I hopefully at some point this all looks like a giant canopy I don't want it to be to be like massive holes or anything like that and over here the idea is to continue the mega branch and I want to try and go up here maybe get to a similar height as that there I don't know how much more I can build out though because that's the other thing the whole spherical shape needs to be a thing I definitely have a little bit more space to use I think this is indeed <laughs> very very tricky though oh, I'm starting to run pretty low on wood I've got this box here and this box here left I, I've got less than a Schalke box plus my inventory oh I can't believe how much wood I've used. I've, I'm sure I've wasted quite a bit that's just fallen down as well. I should put a, I should put hoppers down there. Yeah, I should put like a massive hopper hopper bed. That would probably that would probably help things out. Mosquito, hello. I haven't even seen these. Is that a wasp or a bee? I think that's a wasp. That's looking absolutely fantastic. And look at this area. I mean, stresses base with the skull. If I go all the way over here, you can see everything from up here. Alan, I'm so disappointed in you pesky bird I think I may have gone a little bit carried away. I've spent the past 11 hours <laughs> on this branch and it's absolutely mega. It's huge. I haven't really spent that much time flying around, but this is this is def this is like a double branch. I feel like this is almost the size of the two other branches that I've done. This is yeah, this is huge. Let's see if we can land on Scar's wasp. Please don't sting me. Look at that! Oh, I failed. Do you have a lever for a nose? <laughs> okay. Yeah, take a look at that. That is... That is looking absolutely insane. It's almost like I want to keep it without leaves now. Nope, don't worry. It's, it's gonna become an Omega Canopy. But it does look really, really cool. So the Mega Branch came out here and then I started with this thing here. And... Yeah, I mean... It, it's it's gone out of hand it's gone out of hand i also went and collected a full new shulker box of wood which is almost almost completely out again and i'm still not fully happy with this i've tried to do a little bit new shapes for where to place the leaves and stuff like that but i think i want to go like upwards with this branch is eventually uh, is eventually as well i can't even talk <laughs> i've played way too much minecraft the past three days I do have to clean up all of this stuff as well because this is really bothering me. From a distance, it's it's a little bit tough to tell the difference between the dirt, specifically from underneath, and and the wood. And this is the worst when this happens. I gotta be super shovel skull. Yeah. Oh, so close. Here we go. Yes, <laughs> got it. Getting pretty good at this. 
even though this project is taking a ridiculous amount of time to construct, I feel like every time we add a branch or a sub branch, it really, really, really shows at the end of it. It's one of those things that don't really, it doesn't really feel like much is happening as I'm building it, but flying around it definitely gives me, definitely gives me a perspective of just of how large this project actually is. My goodness, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to start building buildings and stuff up here and having this Omega. I mean, look at that view. Look at that view. I guess the view from over here isn't as impressive. It's it's mostly E and Alan. Alan, Alan, Alan. Alan, Alan, Alan. What are we going to do about this absolutely, <laughs> absolutely disgusting? I'm definitely gonna need a professional to clean this up because this is just I don't I don't know what to I don't even know what to say. I don't know what a professional would charge, but these are all the diamonds that I have left. Uh hopefully they are not expensive. I mean I'd argue that this is a passion project, okay? This is one of those things that you just want to do as a professional boom boomer. Oh the logo has changed. Look at that! I love that. I, I have to make my own logo soon. Welcome to Boomers. Thank you for your interest. Please leave a note with your name if you are in need of demolition expertise. No chunks too big, no block too small. Boomers. Ah, I get it. Right, let's see. Help needed with Alan. I'm gonna need many notes to describe my problems. Bird is disgusting. There is diorite everywhere. Bird needs to go. Diorite needs to go. Wood needs shower. Oh no, the anvil broke. Did I write too many notes? Hello? Boop. And then finally we gotta ask if they could make it a passion project. <laughs> right, hopefully this makes sense. We gotta make sure to put these in the, in the right orders. Help needed with Alan. Bird is disgusting. There is diorite everywhere. Bird needs to go. Diorite needs to go. Wood needs shower. Passion project, please. I guess we need to let them know who this is from as well. I'm out of levels. I need something to kill. This is proving more difficult than I originally thought it would be, but there we go, one level. Iscal 85, that in there. And I guess, I guess now we just wait and hope that they will, that they will contact us and, and really hope that it's a passion project for them. So I guess now we wait. I guess now we wait and hope for them to contact us. But more importantly, hope for them to see it as a passion project. Because as I said, I'm down to 10 blocks of diamonds. It's quite embarrassing. My goal for this season is to collect 10,000 diamonds. And I got 10 blocks. That's, that's, I, that, I don't know what to say. That's 90 diamonds. Seriously, that's like 0.009% of the goal. I really need to get my industrial district running. I really need to get going on selling stuff that people really need. And speaking about the industrial district, we don't have that much time left in this video, but there's one more thing that I want to do. So I've made my way back here and I just love coming out and seeing this creeper. That is, again, I know I've said it many times now, I'm getting repetitive. But it's looking really, really cool. Anyway, what I want to do is see if I can lay out the chart of the item collection for this whole place. Now, the idea is, is to have the collection system and sorting system right down here in the middle together with the control center. But what I would really like to do, and I haven't even sketched this out, is to have lamp indicators showing in kind of like a map where the pickup or where the pickup truck is at the moment. So this lamp would be lit whenever the minecart is over at the creeper farm collecting gunpowder. And I actually think doing it this way would be pretty cool. So if we would put lamps in two by two sections in the floor like this, maybe down and maybe have some glass over them. Do I have any glass? Yes. Light gray is going to be better though. So the idea would be that the lamps would be down in the bottom and then we would have glass on top of them. That is, yeah, that is looking really settled and really, really cool. Well, that is if we keep <laughs> that is if we keep this floor, which I'm not really planning on doing, but I guess we'll go with that for now. And then in terms of powering these, all we would need is a repeater or two repeaters like that, and that should power 
I should power all four lamps in theory. Been a few episodes since I made redstone, I realize, but yeah, so that would power all the lamps. So we would have incoming signals just facing into the redstone lamps like this, and then then we would have detector rails, I suppose, to detect where the minecart is. I kind of want to. I kind of want to make a tiny little, tiny little proof of concept. Fancy word is call. This is going to be a very, very small proof of concept, okay? It's going to be a very small proof of concept, but hopefully, hopefully this would work. So just some pulse extenders, oops, some pulse extenders like this, just to keep the signal on a little bit longer. And then we'll have our minecart just travel across here just to see if this gets anywhere near the effect that we want. So whenever I press this button, the minecart should travel over and we should see these lights being lit in succession so that's the first one so it's yeah kind of traveling i mean this is cool and i've made it slower there on purpose but i seem to <laughs> I seem to have made it too slow stupid rails all right let's try this again minecart goes and we have lights it travels along we have more lights and more lights i almost missed it i don't know why and then finally that light so yeah that is that is exactly what I want. Obviously, the minecart will be traveling a lot slower because it will stopping. I will be stopping at the farms, picking things up. But I think this could be. I think this could be a really, really fun thing. And we could, we could potentially have lights in between the farms as well. So pickup stations could be maybe two by two, and then you could have single lines whenever it's traveling, and just use detector rails whenever it's traveling. Obviously, the minecart is for the most part going to be traveling inside the farms, but I kind of want to make it visible at places as well. Now there is one last thing that I forgot to do that we definitely have to do, and that is to take a look at the maps. And Mumbo, Mumbo has definitely made quite a bit of progress since I last saw this. Running course? Yeah, running four lanes, running course. And this is what Mumbo sees us having. We, we, we need an update. Oh no, it doesn't look that impressive from above, does it? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't have a roof on the thing yet. I guess, I guess and that's why. I may have to go with like a colored roof. I was gonna go with the stone slabs, the smooth stone slabs, but that's just gonna, that's just gonna furthermore look gray. Anyway, let's put that back and that should update it at Mambo's place as well. This is coming along though. It is, it is definitely, it feels like we've done a lot more work than what's visible on the map. I don't even know what the, what is this purple thing? Worm. Oh, it's all the Schalke, it's all the Schalke boxes. <laughs> Anyway, with that being said, that's going to do it for today. I really do hope that you've enjoyed this episode. I feel really good about getting some progress back on the Omega tree. That project is just such a massive, nay, oh, Omega, Omega project of doom. But anyway, as I said, I really hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, do hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I will see you dudes in the next episode.